I just want to refute any kind of oneness heresy where people say that God is not three parts, that, you know, Jesus and his Father are both separate, distinct entities, but both uh, function together as one God along with the Holy Spirit. So these are all three separate, distinct, distinct things that all work together as one God. Uh, this is shown by John uh, chapter 14. Um, so this is what I believe. I believe what the, what the scripture says. Uh, you know, Jesus has, I mean, not Jesus. The Father sent his son, only begotten Son, his own Son, the Son of God, in the flesh, he sent his son to come in the flesh to die on the cross for our sin, and he rose again. That's what I believe. And when you receive Jesus Christ and believe that he is your Messiah, you receive the Holy Spirit. So he's, the Holy Spirit is a counselor that is sent. You receive Jesus Christ. I don't believe in this oneness thing that that God is just one. You know, it's just the Father. And he's. I don't believe that the Father is just manifesting as all these different. You know, as the Holy Spirit and as the as Jesus Christ. I believe these are three different things, but all work together as one God. And you know, I'm not a Catholic, but. You know, the Catholics are the ones that, I mean, honestly, Protestantism came out of Catholicism, so I, mean, I believe whatever the, basically whatever the apostles, whoever wrote the Bible, the original Bible, the saints or whatever, the disciples say is true. Whatever they said, said on account of Jesus Christ and whatever words he spoke is whatever I believe and so I don't believe in this oneness heresy that the father you know came down and manifested as the son I, no I believe that the father sent his son that he didn't manifest as the son but he sent his son, but the son, but, also, but I believe that the son is in the father and the father is in the son, but both are two distinct separate things. Jesus is still the son of God. To receive the father, uh, you must believe that Jesus is sent by the father and that he's the Messiah, the Christ. So that's what I believe. I don't believe in oneness. Uh, if you read the book of Enoch, the book of Enoch mentions the Christ, Jesus Christ at, sitting on the throne. It mentions Jesus Christ along with his Father in heaven, reigning as God. He mentioned there's another. It mentions the other, which is Jesus Christ. So the, the doctrine of the Trinity is sound, and it and it goes all the way back. To the book of Enoch, if you read the book of Enoch, it mentions basically, it doesn't mention Jesus by name, but it mentions basically the Son of God uh, sitting in heaven, basically reigning in heaven with his Father as God. He's the Son of God, and he's also a part of God, the Godhead, and the Holy Trinity. The Holy Trinity. So that's that's the sound doctrine. You read the scripture. If you read the scripture, what the scripture says, you realize the doctrine is sound and true. 